in this series, we are turning this toy room into a game room. My children are getting a little bit older. They've kind of outgrown some of the more kitty stuff, to getting into bigger stuff, video games, TVs, stuff like that. So we're trying to incorporate a little bit more of that into this room. Today, we're gonna to be installing some stuff from Cololite. Now, they were nice enough to send us these wall panels in addition to a, a Cololite mix acid, basically like an RGB plate that will illuminate a uh, controller. So, so first off, I'm gonna show you the Colo mix acid here. And this was pretty simple. It's not, it's not too crazy of a design. Install is going to be really easy on it. As you can see, there's just a block inside here. And these are modular, as you can see with these little adapters here, that you can actually uh, link a bunch of them together and have them side by side in different formats. On their website, they even showed them like attaching them to computers and stuff if you wanted to. Um, so pretty good flexibility in what you can do with it. Uh, you get a basic USB connection here for the power, in addition to what looks like to be a proprietary battery type. It says a battery 18651. I think I had one of those in a flashlight once, uh, so it's an extremely common, but it would be an alternative if you do not have a way to plug it up. Now, in our case, we're gonna be plugging it up so there won't be any issues. As you can see, it just attached a USB right in there, and this, will end up going down more than likely into our entertainment center and that will hold our primary controller. And then this, this is what holds the controller in place. So as you can see, you just lower that down into the proper position there. We will plug this in to a USB source, uh, something as easy as the back of the switch or uh, your gaming console, or if you have a leftover phone charger, you could plug it into that. So we just bring it right over here. We're gonna plug it in to the switch directly here. USB port right on there. As you can see, it fires right up. And a couple zip ties or whatever. I'll add that later on, but uh, clean up the wiring a little bit behind there. But as you can see, the switch will be able to hide the wiring pretty well. This can sit right in the corner there. And we can just angle that just like there. And as you can see, it ends up uh, just being quite a, a nice little way to uh, accent the actual controller itself. And you do have these quick buttons here that you can push to change the color. As well, if you hard press it for a few seconds, it will turn off. And you just push it again, it turns right back on and goes right back through the modes again. Now, it's not enormously bright, um, so that is something to consider. Uh, I haven't hooked up the app yet. I'll do that at the end. Uh, there may be a brightness slider in the app, so I don't want to say for sure this is as bright as it gets. But we'll find that out at the end uh, once I get the other panels up and we connect everything up and just, you know, hook it up to our uh, Alexa app and all that. So now let's move on to the Colo Light Triangle Kits. And these are extensions that you can get to add more panels if you want. So it just kind of depends on the layout that you want to do. Uh, I actually thought of a relatively creative way to use these triangles to create something, I think, perfect for this room. It's a younger kids gaming room, and I think this is a pretty good match for it. So within the box, you do have multiple of the triangle light panels. Uh, this is a six pack, kind of like your base starter kit. It has your controller, your power supply, and all that, as well as six panels. And then you can get the extension kits, three pieces in each, where you can extend. Now, in the case of what I am doing here, I do need a total of 12. Uh, so I did get two extension kits plus the six piece kit to begin with. So that is the triangles there. And as you can see, like size wise, about the size of my hand there, they're pretty good size panels. It does have a hardware kit that's included. And this has quick connects so that you can connect everything together uh, panel wise, as well as a power block, the connector for the power block that plugs into the panels, the controller, 
and it does have a audio input in case you wanted to tap into some kind of a uh, uh, music system or something like that to make it dance to music inputs. There's also a adapter here where you can split off into multiple inputs. So let's say that you want to send uh, two different audio signals in. Uh, they do supply you with that as well. So as you can see, the way these would be laid out, you pretty much can create just about any shape that you want. The panels that are included can plug into any one of these holes and they just slide right in just like that. And then you can plug an adjacent panel in just like that. So you can create shapes like this. Shapes like this. And then combining them into multiple shapes. So large. Hexagon like that if you wish or whatever shape you're looking for. So pretty good amount of flexibility on it. Uh, and one thing you do want to keep in mind is that you don't want to like complete the circuit. So like in the case, if you're going to do a panel like this, you do not want all of them to be connected. You're going to want to leave one panel disconnected and that'll kind of keep the addressable flow running right um, because of the way the data works and stuff like that. So uh, just keep that in mind, depending on what kind of shape that you're looking for, you're going to want to do that. Now, in a case of mine, I did actually want to create a certain shape and I'm going to go ahead and lay that out now using all of my panels to give you an idea of the shape that I'm going for. So this is the shape that came to mind as I was playing with the panels and trying to figure out what shape would look best in this room. For those of you that are not familiar, this is a uh, Triforce symbol, which is a key shape in the Legend of Zelda uh, game series on the Nintendo. And uh, being that my kids are very much into the Switch, of the shapes that I could come up with, this just seemed the one to fit the best. To be honest, I'm a little bit more of a Zelda fan myself than my kids, but they're still a little bit young and they're getting into it a little bit more. I just think the uh, Breath of the Wild and games like that were a little bit complicated for them, but they're getting better at it. So I think they'll grow into this a little bit more, uh, but they do know what the shape is. So that's a big plus. One big issue that I did have is that the kit is not designed to be able to make this shape. What I did was I took the idea of their little connectors and I designed my own connector to be able to make the shape. Because currently, you can have this panel light up, that panel light up, that panel light up. The panels cannot connect to each other. So you'd almost have to have like three controllers to make it all independently work. Uh, and I didn't really want to do that. So what I did is I created these little uh, PCB panels. And the way they work is they slide right in. just like the regular panel connectors, and they will actually connect all three panels together. And that way I can have a controller down here, and that controller, along with a power input, like maybe down here, and that will make it all flow together. Now, once again, I do not want to complete the circuit, so I'm not going to put one between these two, but I will put it in those corners, and we'll tape it to the wall, and. Everything should hold together really well, uh, but it'll light up. I'll make that Triforce. It should be a pretty cool looking design. I have an outlet right down here, which is perfect because my plan was to put it on this wall. We'll take down the Minecraft poster, try to center it up on the wall and then lay out our panels themselves, hook them up and then get into the app itself and see how that's laid out.
So you see, install was not bad. It only took a couple minutes. Measurement probably took more time than anything, just making sure I got everything straight. The tape is pretty strong, so try to make sure you get it right the first time, because getting it back off, I could see it ripping some drywall paint, wallpaper, whatever off. So um, I don't think you have to worry about it falling off, but you might consider uh, if removal is important, possibly getting some of the, um, the easy command, easy removal strips instead uh, as an alternative. And I don't really plan on pulling it off anytime soon, so it won't be a big deal for me, but uh, that would be the only thing that I would say, like if you're, if you're trying to change up a little bit. As for these little connectors, uh, I did make a few extra. Now it is not perfect. So like you'll notice when it was on the table, it was trying to spread a little bit. My angle was off by probably a, a couple degrees, two or three degrees. Uh, but it's enough that it makes it want to pull out. Now, obviously, once you secure it with the two sided tape, foam tape that's included, it is not going to go anywhere. So I don't have any fear that it's going to separate or anything like that. As you can see, I got everything really uh, pretty darn straight. I don't know that I could have done a whole lot better there. Uh, it looks pretty good from my angle. If you do want to create a shape like this or you think you might be able to use those angles just let me know um, i can sell them for a couple bucks or not they were not extremely expensive so just let me know and i can see about trying to get you a set of them or however many you need but i think all in all it turned out really good i think it's gonna it's gonna make the room pop anxious to see if it even interfaces with alexa i'll tell you the truth i haven't looked that far yet even if it doesn't, it doesn't have the control here. It is Bluetooth controlled, so I do have the ability to turn it on and off. I do have the ability to use the phone uh, if I want to, to change modes and do different things. I don't know that it's fully bright yet. I guess this is a good time to go ahead and get into the app and see how that's laid out. So the app you want to download is called Colo Light, uh, and you can get that from the marketplace. I believe there was a, uh, a QR code to find it as well in the instruction manual. I go ahead and hit allow. That's gonna allow us to connect to everything. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and find our devices. Um, so now we do have a mix and we have the triangles. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the mix or the triangles right now and then the mix acid next. So as you can see, we've got the triangles there and we are connected to our 2.4 gigahertz. That does seem to be a trend with most of these light panels, the lights around the house, uh, Lumery, Govi, all the stuff. It's 2.4 seems to be the limit there. So now it tells you the basics, you know, how to go ahead and plug everything up, connect all your triangles together. We already did all that, so we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Now it wants us to go ahead and put it into pairing mode, which is just holding down that power button for five seconds and then it'll start flashing blue. So now we are in pairing mode and it has found the device. And you'll type in your Wi-Fi and your password and it will begin the pairing mode. So now that it has connected, we're gonna hit save and we can name this and I'm just gonna name it Triforce and hit save. So now we are in there and as you can see, uh, I can increase the brightness, decrease the brightness all the way down to nothing. So there's a little bit of control there and click on the Triforce here. We go into several different modes that we can choose, uh, presets, as well as colors. Um, lettuce green, primrose yellow, um, pink yarrow, green flash. Got some pretty uh, creative names they have for most of the colors there. You know, there you go, there's our Triforce looking yellow there. Uh, of course, I think dynamic is usually what I go for just because I think it pops better. So yeah, there's your rainbow, and you can change the speed. Be a little extreme, or just like that, just about right. I think I like Aura. I think I think that'd be my go-to. And then you got rhythm, of course. You know, rhythm would be the uh, the actual plug-in on the controller itself. So on the controller uh, that is on the side of the lights, there is where you can plug in your uh, headphone jack and you can plug that into whatever devices you might have if you're looking for a music mode. Um, I'm not gonna be going for that. I think I just wanna have it uh, kind of do its own thing. So I'm gonna go back to the Aurora. So now going back to the main screen here, you can go over to Option. This is where we can actually link it to our Amazon Alexa. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Link. 
and it's going to ask me to sign in. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And once you sign in, uh, it's just going to ask you to allow, and it's going to link the Cololite app to the Alexa. And so now we're good to go for voice commands. So we can hop back over here where we have our different commands. You can go to devices and you see the Triforce has been added. So let's go ahead and hop on over to the mix and get it synced up as well. And just like that, we are connected. So now we can name that, uh, just leave it mixed acid. That's fine for now. And you can see it did pop up there. And it does look like it does get a little bit brighter, so I think it was turned down a little bit. I'm going to do that same aura. There are a lot of the same modes in here. You do have your option to do your own effect. You have the preset modes. You can adjust the speed. You can select any solid color, and you can do rhythms. Do not believe there is an input for a microphone on this. At least I did not see one. Um, but uh, other than that, it looks like it's pretty much the same controls as what we saw for the triangle lights. Now, for this device, it is actually a Bluetooth device and not a Wi-Fi, so it will not be Alexa compatible on the Mix Acid. Now, this is where you could go with an alternative. If you were to plug it into an outlet uh, that is a smart outlet, you could make it turn on and off. Uh, that might be something that I do. I don't know. I don't quite know yet. Uh, it's just as simple as pushing a button to turn it to different colors as well as holding it down for a few seconds and it'll turn right off. So uh, I don't think that's a huge deal either way, but we'll see uh, if I end up going that route. Uh, all in all, I think it, it ended up uh, being a nice addition to the room. Definitely a nice addition for the triangle lights themselves. I think that really was a nice addition. So uh, all in all, definitely a nice kit. Uh, the interface with Alexa seems to be seamless and don't really have any concerns with it honestly uh, I did have to create those little panels to make the shape that I was going for but once again uh, they are created I do have them available if anybody wants to go for that same shape definitely reach out if you are interested in that uh, thanks for watching the video uh, and if you have enjoyed this definitely check out the rest of this series where we're taking this toy room and trying to updated a little bit to be more of a game room. Make sure you subscribe and like, and we'll catch you on the next video.